<laughs> Welcome back to Studio 10. We are out on the weather patio, and Justin was saying that it was nice earlier. He wasn't kidding. We're it with is Brock really Fletcher. Nice. I like it. <laughs> exactly. With the selling tea with Keller Williams Realty. We should have brought some sunglasses, though. I should have. These glasses are useless. These are <laughs> my prescription glasses. They do nothing to block the sun. I so. feel like a lot of people can agree with that, yes. though, with their glasses. All right. So, uh, boy, I tell you what, spring fever with a day yes. like today. So, what are we looking at with the spring housing market, uh, the real estate market? here in the Lansing area. Well, we're, we really need the listings to start coming. <laughs> okay. uh, we're at, we were at 345 available properties this morning, which is honestly about four or five days worth of supply. It's not a lot. And normal so, is how many before oh, pandemic? Yeah, before pandemic, we would always have at least 1,500 to 2,000. So, but that feels like Forever ago. Uh, uh, forever ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it does. Yep. All right, so if people are thinking about selling, we've got yep. some tips for them today. First of all, maybe people are going, all right, since there aren't that many choices, do I sell, do I renovate? What yep. What do you say about that? Well, I think if you're, if you're making the decision between selling and whether a renovation will cause you to be happy in your home, it, you know, here's the reality. If, if, you're, if you've outgrown your home, unless you're gonna like do an addition or something like that, mm -hmm. you're not likely to be able to renovate it in a way that's gonna allow you to, to, to be happy. Um, now, if it's just a situation where you can do some cosmetic things and, and, and re, uh, reinvigorate your home to what you wanna live in in the long term, well, by all means, pay off your home, stay there stay there for the long term. But so it's, there's there's really, I mean, it's kind of an individual answer then with this. Sure, yeah. the, the, the thing is, is can you meet your long-term goals by renovating your current home? Mm -hmm. I mean, to me, that's the question. If you can't, then it's clear, you should sell your home, you should buy a new home. Or if you can afford to, buy the new home and then sell the old home <laughs> okay. if, you, if you have the financial ability to do so. All that's right. easier. What about staging tips? And I know we've talked about that a little bit before in the past, yep. but has anything changed with that? Or is, is there like, one, if they're gonna spend time doing one thing, what should that thing be? Yeah, well definitely cleaning first. Mm -hmm. And then I would say address, address your paint. If your paint is worn and scratched and different things, that's an easy way to, to, um, to make your home look modern. Address the floor coverings. And then, of course, kitchen and bathroom renovations are always key um, because they're the big ticket items. And if, you're, if your mechanical systems are, out, are old and outdated, let's say your furnace is on its last few legs, upgrading your furnace, your central air, those are things that buyers you know, really like to see. Okay. can go a long way. Yeah. Um, so let's talk money a little bit because yeah. I, I know that that's something else that's on everybody's minds these days. Home prices, inflation, yeah. interest rates. What are you seeing in the money department? Yeah, well, we're all feeling inflation everywhere at this point. Prices are going up. Um, the uh, home home values are going up. That That's not likely to change. This is, this is not a bubble that's being caused by by lenders being really frivolous with lending and in, in financing people that aren't good buyers. That's not the case. The job market's very strong. Every business I know is hiring. So we're not in a bubble. So if you're not buying because you think we're in a bubble, that's just so unlikely to be to be true, to be honest. Mm -hmm. So, um, and then the cost of money is going up a little bit. And I was talking with one of my favorite lenders here before I came over and I just said, hey, what's a, what are you looking at for a 30 year fix today? And he said, we're between four and a quarter and four and a half. So interest rates are still, still really incredibly low. Um, when you're comparing them to historical rates. So um, the value of your dollar still goes a long way in terms of a 30-year mortgage. Okay, and I know when it comes to the finances, one of your tips is get a local lender. Well, yeah, because so there's 11 or 12 offers on every home right now. And a lot of times the deciding factor is whether the trust, the whether the sellers and their agent trust your lender. Mm -hmm. So if you're pre-approved with somebody from out of the air that nobody knows, they have no reputation, that's gonna hurt you. Yeah. I mean, that could be the deciding factor. Matter of fact, it often is the deciding factor when offers are so, yeah. so close. And so many offers on yep. one particular house. I, I'm telling you something that maybe Maybe your agent either doesn't know to be true or doesn't have the guts to tell you, but <laughs> if you're working with the wrong lender, it's gonna, it's gonna cost you your home. All right, just All the right. Truth pro of tip there from pro Brock tip. Fletcher today. Pro tip, okay. I'm bringing the truth every time. <laughs> okay, all right, well, if people wanna reach out to you because it can be a confusing process, how do yes. they get a hold of you, Brock? Uh, cell number is still the best, it's 517-303-3262. Also, if you just wanna Google me and, and read a few reviews to get comfortable, 
uh, that I am who I say I am first, that's cool too. And then okay. you can message me that way. All right. Well, thanks so, for hanging out on the weather patio. Thanks Picked for a having good day me. for it. Yes. I'll Finally. take this weather. <laughs> this will be perfect all the way till June. Exactly. And then I want it to be warmer. Okay. All right. We've got more coming up from the weather patio coming up next on Studio 10.